everyone and welcome to another video. My cat joining me here today. Hi Aria, say hi. <laughs> anyway. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a challenge that I'm going to be taking part in. So it's a six week challenge where I will be taking on this guide by Liz L and it's for having a good gut. So the premise of this video is to share with you the reason why I'm taking on this challenge. Purely like I said because I've <laughs> I found the book and thought why not and as a way of tracking my progress. So Liz L is a well-being expert right? She's got beauty products as well as books on how to live healthier. This being one of them. The book is quite extensive as you can see but it's really helpful so it starts off with like an introduction on the gut itself. I'm not going to go fully into it because I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor. I do want to follow this just to kind of, like I said, it's as a challenge uh, to kind of test myself to find out if I will notice any changes. So what causes a bad gut? Why is this book aimed specifically at having good gut health? If you suffer from bloating, constipation, those are two key signs for having a bad gut. Another big sign is having bad breath. Like, that's gross, but if you do, that could also be a sign. Having a good gut health is essential. I don't really want to have any tummy troubles, so that's also why I want to do this. Week one is basically going to involve a whole detox, getting rid of all the bad bacteria that's been building up in there. A reason that she mentions for taking on this challenge is that if you've ever taken an antibiotic, which I have, then your kind of your gut kind of needs a bit of a boost. It needs to have that sort of detox, even if it has been years since you've taken any medication like that. I'm basically just going to bullet point the focuses for each week. So week one, I'll have to eliminate a few things. I'll put them up here, and they're added sugars and sweeteners, dried fruits, gluten, as well as alcohol. So no alcohol for me. So that's week one. Week two is coming clean. This week I'll be further cleansing my gut. Week three is healing and repopulation. So after cleansing, my gut does need to heal. This week it'll involve me taking on all those good bacteria back in there to repopulate and strengthen that gut. Week four is nourish. I'll learn new ways on how to further nourish and soothe my gut. Week five is balance. So this week I'll learn how to achieve an overall good well-being of my gut as well as being happy about it. And finally, week six is maintenance and radiance. This week will involve me learning how to maintain these habits beyond this six-week challenge. And the book then does go on to break down some recipe ideas to give you inspiration. So these are a few of the things I bought on Amazon to help me on my gut health journey. This is a bit new to me, I've never had it before, but it's meant to be a medicinal food. It's an antioxidant. It's also shown to stimulate the growth of important probiotic bacteria in our gut. This next item is actually for week three, but it's in here because I bought it in the same bundle. So a probiotic is meant to strengthen the immune system and fight off infection. Apple cider vinegar is a bit of a cure-all for the gut. It's a prebiotic that helps feed our good bacteria. The key here is to always go raw. That means the apple cider vinegar needs to be unpasteurized and contain the mother. Pumpkin seeds are a potent internal healer containing plant protein and a range of minerals including copper, magnesium and zinc. So because week one is a detox, I need to internally cleanse the gut. So psyllium husk is here for that and is a form of fiber and helps soothe areas of the gut that might be inflamed. So that's it from me. Thank you so much again for sticking by me till the end, if you have made it this far. And I hope to see you next time once I start taking on this challenge. Thank you again and see you next time. Bye.